Hey folks, Kip Adams from the National Deer Association here. Still got snow behind me, but food plot season is coming quickly. One of the biggest problems that folks have with food plots is they simply don't plant enough seed, or at least don't plant enough pure live seed. On every seed bag, you see it tells you how much is in there and how much it'll plant. One thing we need to do though is calculate the percentage of that bag that's not just seed, but the percentage of it that is actual seed that will germinate. Every seed bag has to have two things. One is the percentage of that bag that is pure seed. And secondly, the percentage of it that will germinate. You calculate those two together to figure your true planting rate using that seed. For example, with clover, we have uh, some white clover. We're gonna plant about five pounds per acre. Looking at this seed tag, we see that it's 99% pure seed. Very good seed. But it only has 75% germination rate. So if we multiply those two together, 99% times 75%, we get 0.743. We take our five pounds per acre that we want to plant, divided by this 0.743, and that says 6.7. That means we actually have to plant 6.7 pounds per acre of that seed to get our five pound per acre planting rate. Let's do another example. Let's look at red clover. This seed tag says 99% pure seed, that's great, 70% germination rate. If we multiply those two together, we get 0.693. Now with red clover, we wanna plant about 10 pounds per acre. So we take 10 divided by that 0.693, that comes out to 14 and a half pounds. So we need to plant 14 and a half pounds of that particular seed to get a 10 pound per acre planting rate. Let's look at one more example. Let's plant rye, not rye grass. We're not planting that for deer, cereal rye. For this, we want to plant 100 pounds per acre. I have the cereal rye tag in my hand, 99% seed, very good, 85% germination. So 99% times 85% gives us 0.842. 100 pounds divided by 0.842 is 119. So we have to plant 119 pounds of this per acre to get a 100 pound per acre planting rate. Hopefully by doing this now, you can see why, man, sometimes you may have planted and those stands were just a little bit thin. It's not that you didn't plant enough seed, you didn't plant enough pure live seed that was actually gonna germinate. Hopefully this helps you with your food plot program this spring. So for anything else, food plots, habitat, or anything deer related, be sure to check us out online at deerassociation.com.